Hi, it's Phil Owens here from the Wheatstone Corporation, here to talk with you for a moment about our new E1 control surface. We introduced the E1 at the spring NAB of this year, won a Cool Stuff Award for it, and since then, interest in this product has been great. We all know that with today's economic challenges, folks are looking for a console system that has great ease of use, more features, but less cost. The E1 does all three, so let's take a look. The E1 surface itself is ergonomically angled to create good viewability of the source displays above each fader, and the bus assign, talk back, and programming control. Yet, it maintains a low profile for good view angles and sight lines to your in-studio guests. Here's a quick rundown of an E1 input fader module. On-off switching uses sealed relay switches. Faders are 100 millimeter conductive plastic, a traditional Q-switch, an easily read source display at that nice ergonomic view angle, a direct talkback switch down the channel mix minus output, four main bus assign switches, and an AB select switch that can act as a traditional AB source select and also functions as the select switch for this channel's programming functions. Of course, each channel on the E1 can access any source that's connected to your audio network with easy dial-up source selection provided right on board. Each channel on the E1 has its own unique mix minus output so that every channel can handle phone or remotes. There's a direct talkback switch on each channel for easy communication with the connected source. These channel outputs can also double as direct outputs for feeding record inputs on a DAW. The quarter VGA display built into the E1 eliminates the need for an external LCD monitor. It provides you with full metering for all four output buses, a switched meter pair we like to call the wild meter that can follow your Q bus. It has a nice big clock with digital readout as well, a countdown timer, uh, an indication of the preset that's called up, level controls for all of your monitor outputs, and displays showing the sources that are feeding those monitors. The built-in display also lets us go under the hood on the E1. By using the built-in trackpad and mouse buttons, you can navigate various menus that let you configure the board the way you want for any given show. Once you're done, save it as a preset, lock it down, and let your users have at it. The E1 can store and recall a hundred different show setups, and these can be saved by name so that your users have an idea of the show preset that they are recalling. The E1, like all of our control surfaces, can be controlled by our ACI, or Automation Control Interface. This lets external devices like automation servers control the E1 console's functions directly over IP. All in all, quite a powerful system that starts at under 10K. And that includes our IP88CB console blade, an integrated digital mix engine and audio I.O. unit that's a part of the Wheatnet IP family of products. To learn more about the E1, the IP88CB, or building an audio over IP network from Wheatstone, give us a call here at Wheatstone or contact your favorite broadcast dealer. Thanks a lot for listening. <laughs>